Good morning, everyone. So big day, right? We have football back here in Seattle and you can see Vikings and the Seahawks. They're going to be going up against each other here later this evening at seven o'clock. Uh, going to be a pleasant evening. Temperatures in the 70s dropping down into the 60s as we go later on here into the evening. Northwest winds only around five to 10 miles per hour. Uh, yeah, I know free season, but it's going to be exciting either way and it's not going to be too long until we officially start. Now, Westport, things a lot drier here. Yesterday we were really seeing some of those rain drops flying across the camera lens here. Not the case this morning as we're seeing more of a drying and a warming trend that's going to take place here on into the end of the week. Yeah, of course, here in Seattle, looking live there at Lumen Field, you can see the lights on top of the uh, stadium there. We're at 60 degrees south winds coming in at six miles per hour. Those clouds uh, should break apart a little bit earlier today, giving way to more sunshine, uh, but there are going to be a lot of clouds around this morning, and that's because we still have quite a bit of moisture, at least in the atmosphere, that is. And that's helping to reduce these patchy areas of drizzle here across more of the north coast parts of parts of uh, the northern Olympic Peninsula and up around more of the San Juan Islands too. As far as your temperatures, upper 50s, lower 60s. We're at 65 in Renton, a bit warmer there. 55 in Puyallup and then 59 in Oak Harbor, 62 over to Port Angeles and Forks. We're sitting at 62 degrees and Hoquiam at 63. Okay, so the picture is looking like this uh, as we go into the afternoon. Clouds begin to break down. Any of those patchy areas of drizzle, which we might even see a better chance of around Hood Canal. Keep an eye out for that will be pretty much gone by about two or three o'clock later on into the day. Then we go into this evening. You can start to see those clouds over the Olympic Peninsula and parts of the Kitsap Peninsula still kind of holding strong, but I think elsewhere we're definitely seeing more of a clearing trend and we're going to see some of those skies that stay somewhat clearer here into the night, but we are going to have a few clouds return before we head into tomorrow afternoon. See a lot more sunshine and that warming trend just con continues to come. Now this is how all it's going to come together. We have uh, that area of low pressure moving on out of here. We have this ridge of high pressure that's going to be building here across areas of uh, western Washington and really out over the Pacific Ocean. That's where it's going to be centered and that's going to allow some of that heat to really start to find its way more overhead for us. Thankfully, it looks like most of that uh, high pressure system or at least that center of it, it's going to be more off of the coast. So that will mean that we really don't get as intense of heat showing up here across uh, parts of the Pacific Northwest for Seattle or Portland. Still going to be really hot, but we're talking about temperatures more around the low to mid 80s as we head into next week. Maybe an outside chance of a few low 90s out there, but this is how your numbers look. As we go on into that time, we see highs go from the 70s tomorrow up around the low 80s on Sunday, mid 80s. That heat's really peaking on Monday and Tuesday and then beginning to come down a little more into Monday and Tuesday and then to next Wednesday. Then your drought monitor. This is not going to be released yet, but we are going to get more information later on into the day. But latest one from last Thursday shows more of that severe drought here across parts of the Cascades. We'll let you know more about that here coming up throughout the course of the morning and show you the latest drought monitor as we go later on into the day. But your forecast is shaping up to be quite nice here for today. We expect the clouds and the drizzle to move, move its way out of here. More sunshine to come. Temperatures back in the 80s over the weekend. Still ahead.